Hi, I'm Jeremy Pritchard. I'm one of the lecturers in the School of Biosciences at University of Birmingham and I'm here in Bergen, uh, well near Bergen, a town called Finsa. Uh, you have to get the train from Bergen and we're running a field course for our second year undergraduate students. We've got 25 students here. Uh, this is the field station uh, behind me where we have our laboratories, and where we eat uh, and sleep and then you can see that we're in the middle of a beautiful valley in which there are glacial rivers, glaciers on those mountains behind me and a range of uh, plants and animals adapted to this difficult environment. Um, we're about 1200 meters up, uh, the snow is only, uh, only absent for maybe two months a year uh, and so if we're looking at the uh, ecology of this place we're looking at the uh, things that might give us some clues about climate change because where organisms are right on the edge is where climate change is likely to impact earliest. So we're giving our students the opportunity to study this and get the skills to be people who might uh, get jobs and might contribute to understanding climate change and what we might do about it. So uh, the students have chosen to do this in the first year based on what they were interested in in their, uh, uh, their first year modules. Um, uh, they, we have a module fair where we talk about it and they meet the students who've been on courses in, in subsequent years. And then uh, we, we, we let the students choose to come. Uh, and then we, uh, we all fly out here to, for, from Gatwick to Bergen. Uh, and then we get the train, a beautiful train journey, two and a half hours up the valley. Uh, and it's like a lesson in glaciation looking out the window. We drive up the fjords and then uh, through the glaciated valleys into this valley, uh, uh, which is, as you can see probably from behind me, uh, extremely uh, glaciated. So there's a lot of um, stuff we can do here with the students. We can look at the, the plants using quadrats. We can look at the animals using pitfall traps and various other sorts of trapping, including camera traps. Uh, there's a lot of lemmings up here and they quite like peanut butter uh, and so we bait the traps with peanut butter and we can have a look at those lemmings and of course uh, we let them go, we don't keep the lemmings. Um, we use drones to fly over um, the sites. Uh, we, um, we, as I say, we use camera traps and we can look at the voles and so on. Occasionally we get arctic fox up here and we saw some deer the other day. There are reindeer but they're very shy and we haven't seen those. So we spend the first half of the week learning some techniques, thinking about how we collect data, how we analyse data, how we present data, and all the students work as a group on that. And then uh, towards the end of the week, the students choose a project topic and they work in a group to answer a particular question that they've devised themselves. And it might be the difference in invertebrates in, in glacial streams versus ordinary streams. It might be comparing the plants that grow in boggy areas and non-boggy areas. Or, um, for instance, other people look at um, pollinators and pollinator species and which colour of plant they prefer and what time of the day they, they pollinate. It's quite a challenging environment, it's quite rough, but it's good fun. And the field station is a good environment because uh, we, all, we all live together, we all eat together. We have really good cook who cooks beautiful food. Nice to come down off the mountains at the end of the day uh, and have a nice, nice meal. Uh, and there's also a sauna which can ease the, uh, the, uh, the, the stiff muscles. So it's a really good learning opportunity. It's a 20 credit course um, uh, and part of the normal uh, teaching on, the, on, 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 the, on our, on our uh, programs. Uh, it teaches students about the, the things that are here and, and the specific knowledge about ecology but it also gives them a set of skills that allow them to move beyond just pure ecology. So they have to work in groups, they don't know each other before they come and so they have to decide who's good at what, they have to um, share out tasks, they have to hit deadlines, they have to give a little presentation. Um, and so those skills I think will really set them instead for, for the rest of the second year and also their final year project which is a key part of the studies at a university like Birmingham. Hopefully of course those skills will give them a head start in the employment market because working in groups uh, is a really important part of, uh, of what employers are looking for whether it be in ecology or finance.
So it's a really, a really nice course, um, uh, a really good way of teaching and learning, really good staff-student ratio. We change it every year because we find new things out and as lecturers um, we bring new bits of kit or we see something we hadn't seen before or the students come up with something new like just re just tonight one of the students gave a presentation and uh, pointed out an adaptation of some of the plants to low nutrients that we we hadn't thought of before so that will be part of the course in subsequent years so it's a real engagement between staff and students um, uh, as we move forward. We also, although we're in the countryside, although we're actually miles from anywhere, as I say, there's no roads coming in here, um, we're, we're pretty well connected, there's really good Wi-Fi, and we've taken a lot of 360 pictures, uh, a lot of uh, videos of the students doing things, and one of the objectives here is to create digital resources that help people who might be a bit anxious about coming away to see what the environment will be like and what the living environment will be like but also um, to uh, give students an idea uh, of whether they want to do it or not. And also we brought a school teacher this year. We brought a teacher from the University of Birmingham School, Mrs. Hempson, and um, she's thinking about how she can help uh, the teachers at A level think about how they teach ecology and how that transition from school to uh, university might be made easier and how universities can support schools and vice versa because um, obviously the learning environment that you get at A level is something that we need to be familiar with at university so we can make the transition between school and university as easy as possible so people engage uh, with the topics that they're interested in uh, um, not just not just the core topics that maybe the teacher is interested in anyway uh, I hope I hope that gives you a bit of information about what we're doing here a couple more days as the students finish off their projects and then back to Birmingham uh, but just now I think I'll go in uh, and have my tea I hope I think it might be sausage night so good night <laughs>